Hi, I'm Roger, and welcome back to the Tractor Tech Channel. I remember a good while back on a tractor forum, it seemed like every time someone asked what size tractor they should buy, a couple guys would recommend a Kubota BX25D. It didn't matter whether the person had a one acre lot or a thousand acre farm, they needed the Kubota BX25D. Me and a couple of other guys tried telling them that the Kubota BX is a very capable tractor, but sometimes you just need a larger tractor to do your jobs. So I thought I would come up with a test to show the difference in performance between both tractors. I have the Kubota BX2360 with a five foot blade. I have the Kubota L4240 with a seven foot blade. I know some people are gonna argue that it's unfair that I'm using a seven foot blade on the 4240 and a five foot blade on the BX, but I'm taking advantage of the larger tractor size and using a larger blade. And really this tractor is capable of using an eight foot blade. So what I'm going to do to show the difference in performance between the two tractors is I'm going to give each tractor two minutes to move as much as they can of this pile of sawdust and wood chips. The pile goes on back there almost to the trees and we'll see which tractor comes out on top. All right, so you can see in the video that this material was very, very loose and it pushed very easily. You can see I got a bit of it pushed over here, started leveling it down just a little bit. And then I started working on the pile because I need to push a lot of material back into here. So the BX did pretty good. So now I'll get in the 4240 and we'll see what happens. So I have the 4240 backed around here now. Timer on two minutes and we're going.
next time. So you can see that the BX does extremely, extremely well for its size. It's a very capable little tractor, and it's really nice in a tight location. But there's still no comparison between it and a tractor like this L4240. What I've found that this L4240 using a rear blade is usually about four to five times faster than using the BX. All right, so what makes a bigger tractor more productive? Well, first thing, we have a lot more horsepower and a lot more weight. When I was using the BX, I had to be in low range because I was pushing hard with it. And low range on that tractor going forward is about four mile an hour. And in reverse, especially with a load against it, you're probably lucky if you're, you're well under two mile an hour, probably a mile an hour and a half or something like that. Whereas with this 4240, it has enough power that I can push in medium range and it has the dual speed hydro, so I can run 10 mile an hour in medium range going forward. And I was still in the high side of my medium range when I was pushing with that tractor there. So I was able to push a lot faster, but not only was I pushing faster, I had the seven foot blade, so I was also able to push a lot more material at once. And then with the seven foot blade, it's a heavier blade than what the five foot blade was. So when I was pushing with the BX at times, the blade was riding up over the material a little bit despite the material being loose, unlike a pile of dirt that had been laying for several months, this heavier blade sank down into the material and I was able to scrape it away more quickly. All right, so now I'm gonna take the 4240 back around and finish cleaning up what I started. Since this material is sawdust and wood chips, it's not something that's really gradable. It's kind of clumpy. Probably just gonna to have to get it pretty good right now and let it settle and come back later on and make it look good. I think that's about all I'm going to do for now. 